All right, at this point, uh, let's quickly uh, bring you uh, the package that was put together uh, by Emmanuel Aldu on the E-Naira. Of course, we do know that the Central Bank of Nigeria, which is Apex Bank, has said that it is preparing to launch uh, the digital currency before the end of the year. Emmanuel Aldo will take us through that. And that is it from me today. So be the best you can be, be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Bye now. In February this year, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued an order to banks and other financial institutions prohibiting them from dealing with cryptocurrencies or facilitating payment for cryptocurrencies exchange. As a result, a number of crypto-based businesses have been driven out of the Nigerian market and the growth of other digital and virtual currencies in the country has slowed. In June 2021, the CBA announced her intention to develop and issue an e-Naira based government-controlled digital currency in Nigeria. The CBN of recent also delivered a presentation to licensed financial institutions which provides guidelines on the insurance and operations of e-Naira in Nigeria. It says the Nigerian government will issue e-Naira, a digital currency, with the same value as Fiat Naira and it will be purchased by the general public through financial institutions and transferred to customers' pay wallet. Digital currency is what central banks all over the world they are providing as an alternative to the current money arrangement. What are we saying? You have some Naira in your account and you choose to, to, to convert part of your Naira into a digital wallet in by way of a digital currency, we will support that. Okay, so we think that this is a novel idea and we are not the first. We know the PBOC in China has unveiled theirs and many other central banks are advanced stages of unveiling their own digital currency and our own digital currency, which is tagged E-Naira, will certainly come into operation by the, grace, by, by the special grace of the Almighty by October and we are working very hard for this. So what is the objective? On payment system, we believe that uh, transactions will be cheaper and more efficient as there will be less hubs to com complete. Let me say that the Nigerian economy is big enough to accommodate choices, choices Nigerians make with regard to how they want to transact their businesses. The e naira is being introduced to complement existing types of monies and not to replace them. I would emphasize that cryptocurrencies are private monies which are not regulated by any regulatory authority. Therefore, using them is your own individual decision. If you decide to use them, it means you are taking your risk. If you make your money, we will wish you good luck. But if you lose your money, we would laugh at you. <laughs> but for us at the CBN, we have, reg we have passed the instructions and directives to the banks that they cannot use their banking and payment system infrastructure to allow crypto agents or crypto users to use them. So that policy still remains in place and I am not sure we are about to change that policy. Unlike digital banking, which involves people interacting with money held in the bank, analysts claim that Inera is actual money generated and held in e wallets by customers. As a result, clients will be able to transact with it like if it were fiat cash without the need for the middleman as in digital banking. The removal of intermediaries is intended to lower transaction cost and time. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good development. Um, we know exactly where that is coming from. And it's coming from the challenge being posed by cryptocurrencies to fiat currencies. 
um, my perspective is that um, Central Bank of Nigeria, just as Central Bank of China, among others, including America and Co, um, is being proactive to say, okay, whereas the cryptocurrencies want to take out uh, fiat currencies, are they going to just sit on their hands and do nothing? It's better to do something than to do nothing, and I think that's the idea behind the e naira of course we really want to talk about digital currencies the naira that we use right now is fairly digital already i mean you can transfer money from your phone you know using app using ussd using all sorts um you can see your balance you can interact with your bank it's already digital in fact the naira is already more digital than many currencies i know um, I do a bit. I well, used to do a bit of banking in the UK. I think we're a bit ahead of the UK. Even now, we're ahead of uh, the UAE in some respects. Um, for some reason, we actually are quite uh, quote and unquote financialized <coughs> in Nigeria, as against being industrialized. Though that's a risk itself. But where everything about finance, most of our young people want to go into finance. Everybody is running a fintech of sort. Um, so uh, we're, we're ahead of the curve in that regard. So it's just one of those things. Which I think is, is a good way to go. And it may save government some costs. So of cost of printing, currency of fiat is one of the things it will save government. It also helps to further monitor uh, financial activity, unlike what uh, crypto offered where the fund uh, could be managed in secrecy, those who want to put their monies in e -bond, in e on e-Naira, uh, I think there will be a higher level of transparency uh, by the Central Bank of Nigeria. So it's a welcome development. I only hope that uh, some of the areas of concerns will be properly taken care of by uh, monetary authorities. Um, if people remember the origin of cryptocurrencies around 2006, a uh, guy called uh, Nakamoto Satoshi, who is probably an invisible human being, nobody knows who he is. The idea behind setting up cryptocurrencies was to say that fiat currencies being run by central banks was not efficient enough and that, you know, it was an inflationary currency because each time there's a problem or at will, central banks can print more fiat currencies and dilute what is in circulation by increasing money supply. Cross-border transactions are also likely to become simpler. It also allows unbanked Nigerians to transact in Hinera without having a private bank account. During the July Monetary Policy Committee meeting, the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Mayfield, stated that the Central Bank digital currency will increase the liquidity of banks in developing countries through overseas remittances. According to CBN, the central bank digital currency, which he emphasized would complement rather than replace the present paper money and coins in circulation, would also simplify cross border transfers and improve payment system efficiencies. If, for instance, you have 10 million naira in your account, you go to your bank. So, of course, when this starts, CBN will move some of the balances of banks and CBN to those banks in digital currency. So you go to your bank, you have for 10 million naira, you say you want to move your 10 million naira, maybe four, 2 million out of your 10 into a digital currency, they will debit your account and move it to you into your wallet of 2 million naira digital currency, which you can spend across countries. We went on to say that the in era has the ability to alleviate many of the problems that now plague cross-border payments as well as enhance forest accretion and usage. Claims that issuing a central bank digital currency will lower demand for foreign currency since Nigerians will be able to use it to deal both locally and across borders in the future. The CBN also noted that the bank followed the rules of the Bureau of Public Procurement as provided in the Public Procurement Act in selecting bit as the preferred technical partner for the implementation of the central bank digital currency from a group of 15 prospective technical partners. The bank selection criteria included, among other things, the technological ownership and control implementation timelines, efficiency and simplicity of adoption, support for anti-money laundry 
and counter-terrorist financing, interoperability and implementation expertise. By way of update, I must say that we have made advanced progress uh, on our digital currency. Um, we have already appointed Beats Incorporation uh, as our technical partner. They were selected out of 10 other solution providers based on their performance during a rigorous evaluation process on diverse criteria including technology, ownership and control, implementation, timeline, efficiency, ease of adoption, support for AML, CFT, platform security, interoperability and implementation experience. So we are pretty confident that Beats Incorporation has all that is needed to qualify them to be our partner uh, in this journey. And I'm, I'm very sure that we'll be making good progress here. The CPN says it will distribute the hidden error from its stock wallet to approve financial institutions or will then distribute to people. As a result, financial institutions will keep a treasury wallet to receive hidden error from the CBN. The new and current systems, including Nigerian Central Switch, we support in error transactions. In the new in error operating model, there will be four major parties, which includes the CBN, licensed financial institutions, who will be responsible for issuing in error to customers and monitoring digital transactions under their institutions. Businesses and merchants, customers who will be responsible for maintaining an in error wallet. While assuring members of the public to embrace the in error upon its launch in the coming weeks, the CBN also urged stakeholders to support the bank's policies, reiterating that the CBN remained committed to its mission of being a people-centered central bank. Emmanuel Howard reporting for Moneyline with Nancy.